Hey there! So I was feeling a bit nostalgic the other day, as I often do, and I pulled out some old elementary school yearbooks. Look how cute I am! Oh, I pulled out my first grade yearbook. I was just flipping through the pictures, and it reminded me of this one very special girl from my childhood. Tony Sloan. She was my first girlfriend. Kind of. I mean, you know how six-year-old girlfriends are, you know. And so today, I'm going to convey to you the story of the blissful beginning and the tragic ending of my first relationship with Tony Sloan. Our story of two star-crossed lovers would begin back in 2001, when young Benjamin Stanley and Tony Sloan would be assigned to Mrs. Keisker's AM kindergarten class. There, there their inseparable friendship would begin as they shared their crayons and Play-Doh. Much to their delight, young Ben and Tony would be grouped into Mrs. Ferris's first grade class. It is in this class that their love would flourish. For during one afternoon's free time, young Ben would pose the question, what should we do today, to young Tony? To which she would reply quite sheepishly, write a love note. From there, their undying love would skyrocket. Throughout the rest of the school year, the love between Ben and Tony would remain completely a secret, for it was too embarrassing for the two first graders, but this embarrassment would not stop the two. For it is during one weekend's playdate when Tony would visit Ben's house that she would deliver to him a kiss upon his cheek. But like all great things, this bliss would end. For it is in the next year that much to their dismay, Ben and Tony would be paired into separate second grade classes. Though they could be together during recess, recess alone could not keep these lovers connected. And then tragedy would strike in third grade. For being the second year that Ben and Tony are separated by class, it is in this year that Tony would deliver unto Ben a very devastating note. While in this note, young Tony would express to Ben how much she misses him, she would also convey to him that he is now her second boyfriend, for she had begun to like Logan Plock. This note would undoubtedly break the young boy's heart. It is in the next year, in fourth grade, when the slightly older Tony and Ben are grouped again into Mrs. Unger's fourth grade class. However, due to the dent left in Ben's heart, the two ex-lovers' friendship would remain dormant. It is not until fifth grade, when the two are once again separated, that Ben would once again find love but nothing can replace his first love. Into their adolescence, Benjamin and Tony would grow up together, but their communication was seized. And it is in seventh grade that Ben is transferred to a different middle school, and Tony and Ben would never see each other again. Happy story, right? Now, throughout my childhood, I found the story embarrassing, but it was just recently when I thought back about it how hilarious and adorable it was. So, through some investigative Facebook stalking, I found Tony's current cell phone number. So, on Friday night, I gave her a call to see what would happen, because I haven't talked to her in seven years. So, what you're about to see is highlights from my phone call with Tony after having not talked to her for seven years. Hello? Hi, is this Tony? Hi, Tony. Um, do you happen to know who I am? Ben? Yes, in fact. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I am doing okay, I guess. I'm very cold. <laughs> ah, well, I just kind of called to say hi. Uh, oh, hi, there. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm doing quite excellent myself, actually. How did you recognize my voice? Alright, well, I guess that's good. I was looking at my first grade yearbook and you were kind of my girlfriend back then. I'm like, what would happen if I dated her now? I'm telling you I'm a little crazy. Yes. I don't know if that's changed from when I was younger because I remember being shy and... You were. This little girl in the corner is really smart and you can just do whatever you want with her because she's so small. Yes. Yeah. I remember that girl. I'm not really like that anymore. <laughs> yes, I do remember it was, I think it was third grade that you sent me a note that said that I was I was your second boyfriend because you liked Logan better, and I think that broke my heart in third grade. My little th my little third grade heart. Do you not remember this? No, that's so mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Apparently, you've grown up a little bit since first grade. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot actually. Seriously? Do you know that I have a video blog? No. Yes, you're on it right now. What? I hand out free muffins every Monday morning at school. Yeah, you are insane. This is awesome. <laughs> have I changed? Is this something that you would expect <laughs> seven-year-old Ben to do? <laughs> you haven't changed too much. I didn't think so. <laughs> I do. So talking to Tony brought back a lot of memories. It was really fun to talk to her. I actually talked to her for over an hour and a half. She lives in Ohio now, so I don't think we're going to meet up anytime soon. But it was really fun to talk to her. So thank you for watching this video, and have a nice day.
when I was six, I had my first love. Ain't nobody cooking. Sorry about that.